Hello guys, uh, welcome to this session. My name is Ingime uh, Umanya and uh, in today's session I'll show you how to get to dark web or how to browse uh, in uh, dark web. I know dark web is a common vocabulary for every young man out there or anybody in the internet and uh, you, must have, you must have heard of the term or the vocabulary dark web. So dark web has its own perception on how on uh, what people perceived it to be. Uh, others might be true, others might be mis misconceptions, and others might be uh, just be uh, sayings. Yeah, just they're just normal sayings. And today we want to get to that dark web and see what do you need to get to dark web and how do you join that dark web or how do you browse in dark web. Uh, in front of me is a normal browser and this is a Chrome browser. Uh, that is a Chrome browser inside uh, Windows. So with this, uh, you can browse anything you want. And uh, from here, from here, we'll show you uh, how to get to dark web. First, we have to understand that what is dark web? What is dark web? Why, uh, why call it dark web? So we have uh, layers of the internet. And the layers of the internet that we have, uh, the layers of the internet that we have, we have the surface web, we have the deep web, and we have the dark. We have the uh, surface web, the dark web, and the deep web. Let's see. Let's have a look on all uh, these uh, web layers. So let me just search for uh, web layers. In, uh, let me say internet web layers so that we can get the true definition of uh, the web layers we have so I'll only have I'll pick this sorry uh, let me just go back I've got another another good one here and uh, this is what I want so as it opens so I want to get a true definition of uh, the web layout. So we have three layers in the web. We have the surface web, we have the deep web, and we have the dark web. So uh, in terms of content accessibility, the web can be divided into three layers, and that is surface web, deep web, and uh, dark web. So the surface web is the top layer uh, and includes content that is readily accessible. Or we say that that's content that indexable, or context that uh, contents that can be indexed. What does indexing mean? Indexing means that when you search for, uh, uh, let me say, uh, Omanyang, when you search for Omanyang, you must get some results. So uh, this is Omanyang, and you can see so you have some results. So you mean that these results are indexed from different sites. So some are indexed from uh, omanyang.com, some are indexed from LinkedIn, some are indexed from Instagram and from Facebook and, and so on. So all this information we find is in the surface web. And uh, the deep web is the layer uh, below and is not indexed by such engines. So the deep web can't be, find, uh, can't, can't be found by the normal search engines such as Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, uh, Safari Browser, and Opera Mini and uh, others. So I would say that uh, the deep web is not indexed by search engines and accessing it is often requires filling out forms to secure specific content, searching a database or logging into a specific set of content pages. And uh, finally at the bottom layer is the dark web where which is accessible only with special software and often uh, used for niche purposes and sometimes criminals are requiring the highest level of encryption and anonymity so when most people think that uh, web content they think about the content they find by searching or uh, by simply browsing the via links and this might include the news the articles the blogs and general information found on websites so google's google search engine and bing uh, yahoo they index this web content that make it easier for people to find and that because this content is, is within the surface web 
and uh, for example the higher the number of quality of links to that page the the higher the number of quality of links to that page and they uh, will give you the higher uh, typical rank in such result and at google this is previously is previously referred to as a page rank and uh, links therefore are an important factor which is found to, uh, which helps in finding results and i've said that these results mostly are found in the surface web so we have being google wikipedia we have yahoo and uh, the rest so in the deep web what do we have in the deep web so deep web contains 90 percent of information in the internet but is not accessible by the surface or uh, by web uh, surface web crawlers it can contain academic information medical records legal documents scientific reports we have uh, subscription information organization specific uh, repositories we have competitor website government resources financial record uh, records and uh, multilingual databases and the uh, deepest or the uh, after the deep web we have the dark web so apart from the deep web accessible only through certain browsers such as the tone browser which is uh, designed to ensure anonymity deep web technologies has zero involvement with the, the dark web so the kind of information we have in the dark web is the kind of uh, illegal information we have uh, tour encrypted site political protests drug trafficking sites and private info, uh, confirmation so deep web is not necessarily dark so we've said that deep web you can access but you need a certain kind of authentication to access content in the deep web so first let's look at what the deep web is and i'll not go much uh, you'll find uh, this information and uh, you'll learn more on how on uh, the web layers and what we have contained in the web layers so uh most pro probably people are uh, the most common term or the most common vocabulary in guy in uh, people's mouths is the dark web so how do you get to that dark web we have we've seen that it contains illegal information talk encrypted sites political protests uh, drug trafficking and the kind of private information private communications and uh, for your information the dark web was created by the american cia for their own private information so it's a mystery on how it found itself to the world such that it's used by it's used in uh, all parts of the world though uh, usage of dark web or access to dark web is uh, forbidden in some countries uh, due to security purposes and due to their own reasons so to access the dark web one you need a secure browser that keeps you anonymous and that browser we have is the Tor browser or the onion browser so to access the Tor browser what you need to do is just to go the Tor browser you can download it from your normal uh, a chrome browser or uh, any other normal browser you're using or any other browser you're using so you just come here and write Tor browser so when you look search for Tor browser it's supposed to give you this so this is the Tau project where you are supposed to be downloading the Tor browser. So you can download it for Windows, Linux, Mac, and uh, Android. Uh, Windows, uh, Mac, Linux, and Android. You can download it, then uh, you install it. It protects yourself against tracking, surveillance, and uh, censorship. So that's why it's the most recommended browser for getting to a uh, dark web. So after getting the Tor browser, you will need a VPN. And there are so many VPNs out there. And one of the VPN, we have, we can search for VPNs. Uh, we have the best VPN services in 2021. So you can have the VPN list on uh, the VPN service you can subscribe to, to enhance your security in the website. So we have, we have ExpressVPN, we have... Uh, uh, node vpn proton vpn uh, surfshark and so many uh, so you can uh, subscribe to a vpn service to enhance your protection while uh, you will be going to the dark web to the dark web after uh, installing this uh, browser so with me uh, i only have a kaspersky an antivirus vpn and that is a the Kaspersky VPN. So this is the VPN I have. 
which are uh, it's giving me some kind of anonymity it's a free vpn that's an antivirus vpn that's a kaspersky vpn so i'll start by opening my uh, start my tour browser by double clicking that and it will get me this so this is a tour browser it will it must connect uh, it must connect you and we can see here it's using the search uh, it's searching using the duck duck go search engine so all we want is anonymity and protection so the top browser the in onion browser gives you anonymity while the vpn gives you protection because whatever content you are going to access it's not secure at all and uh, it might expose your data to uh, uh, it might to criminals and uh, and uh, uh, maybe you don't you never know what people are doing there so just to prevent that exposure you have to get protected in all means so after opening this will be the first page of the top browser and uh, now from here uh, some will ask yourself that what next now where am I going to the top browser you can use it just as a normal browser it will get you everything just like a Chrome or a normal browser so the difference with the top browser or the onion browser is that it will give you deeper results as compared to what chrome or mozilla will give you so top browser will give you a more uh it will give you a more refined search to what uh chrome or uh, uh, mozilla or opera mini is limited uh, to give you so i'll search i'll start with a simple site which is in uh, which is in the dark web for bigger companies or mega companies most of them are almost all of them we have them also in the dark web and they have their own dark web links uh, for your information dark web does not use the normal domains that we use such as uh, amazon.com yes so amazon doesn't uh, dark web doesn't use uh, the normal uh, domains such as the dot com dot c uh, dot, let me say dot org dot net it doesn't use that yeah I'm a, a deep a dark web has its own links and we call them onion links so how do you get these onion links so this is the Amazon site and uh, I've said that the dark web doesn't use such kind of links yeah Amazon it uses a kind of links we call onion links or we call them onion links so i've just searched for 1220 onion website from the depths of the dark web and i want to show you the kind of links we have in the dark web so we have uh, in dark web we almost have everything from dark web we have uh, search engines and you can see dark web search engines uh, uh, we have that uh, mirror and this is the link so you can see the link ends with a dot onion so almost all dark web all dark web links and your use the dot onion domain that's what they use and these it gives you this kind of alphanumeric characters so that you don't memorize it yeah get to that site do whatever you want to do and get out so it has such kind of links that you can't write that anywhere or you can't uh, you can't memorize it easily and uh, almost all sites have that so hey stack these are just such engines we have in the dark web we have uh, email providers in the dark web that provide uh, security uh, that provide uh, email services i know you're used to DuckDuckGo. you know uh, what it is it's just a normal browser you can use it in chrome and uh, uh, it's mostly uh, known for uh, as, as, a, as a search engine or as a search browser for uh, dark web and so many others we have so if let me say let me open this uh, one dark web link so that you can see what kind of dark what kind of uh, site they look like so this is a dark website yeah this is a dark website so you can see this the link and this is the site yes so with the uh, say that with dark web you can get everything you can get everything you want either legal or illegal you can get it from here so this is a dark web link and uh, if uh, I'm interested in that content, I can read. So maybe if you want, uh, uh, which I'll not go to, we have uh, those uh, drug selling sites, we have those uh, weapon selling sites, we have them here. Yeah, 
and uh, the way I've said, we have our, our own Facebook, uh, currently Meta, we have f f uh, Facebook on dark web, you can just access it normally. So since I've said that you can't master those uh, links, I'll just come and search for Facebook dark web link or I can search for Facebook onion link to give me the onion link yeah so let me see this for uh, from CNN from BBC uh, it doesn't have that what I want yeah so the what uh, what to and dark web proves its users so I just want that dark web link you can see for Facebook to be specific I want that for Facebook to be specific so uh, another thing I'll look for it we also have that uh, links directory uh, for uh, those sites we have in dark web most of the sites you'll find that uh, we have one good sites that have given you a directory of those sites that uh, you might be in need of yes so we have that we have this uh, onion links hidden wiki hidden wiki pug ultimate dark web dark web drug vendors we have these are their sites dark web wallet and bitcoins mixed us uh, from there we can get uh, uh, cracked uh, we have, can get cracked payment cards or, uh, we, can, or uh, we can get hacked accounts hacked cards we can get uh, uh, any kind of information you want there hacked email addresses and everything so we have they are normally sold in dark web for such kind of uh, uh, information so dark web is like a collection is like a black market for such kind uh, of uh, uh, such kind of uh, uh, such such kind of businesses so we have hacker bitcoins you can exchange bitcoins and payments in dark web are made in form of bitcoins payments in dark web are made in form of bitcoins and you know mostly bitcoins is known that it doesn't leave a trace of payments so it will be harder for you to trace the guy whom you paid and that guy whom you paid also will not uh, be able to trace who have paid him so it's just like a dark business that you can't see whoever you are paying and the whoever you are paying also don't want to see you so it's about you exchange the good or you exchange the service or you exchange the product you pay for them online and then you uh you, you, you everybody goes his way so a warning before i end my tutorial is that uh, before you these are dark web links before you click on these links kindly make sure that you are have a vpn connected before you access these links so i can say let me access one uh let me access one so make sure you have a vpn connected in another thing this link you can access them using chrome chrome does not recognize them chrome does not recognize this this uh, these are uh, links so it will it won't open it will give you site not found so they can only be opened on tor and then i would say that to access it you must have uh, you, you must have vpn connected so we can see like an example these are somebody selling passports here you can buy them and uh, you pay in form of bitcoins euros which is being converted to bitcoin we have id cards driver's licenses being sold here and many more other things that you might need here uh, from dark web you'll get them all here so uh, guys keep safe whoever have interest in visiting dark web make sure give it, uh, give your uh, protection and uh, 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 make sure that you are protected and give your security a priority uh, B, uh, make sure that you are protected while you're on the internet. Security is a priority while in the internet and mostly dark web if in case you want to join or you want to browse to dark web. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, in the next video you will learn more interesting things about the internet and uh, bye for now. See you soon.